Try that says I'm about a month in about a month. I'll be a father. The mother to to be and I don't cohabitate, but are on good speaking terms. Excellent. Are there any moves I should make uh, to protect myself? Says that established paternity since we aren't married. Yes. Don't sign anything. <laughs> Let me tell you that right now. Don't sign anything uh, until until what? Does anybody know? Does anybody know what he should wait for until he starts signing shit at the damn hospital? Can anybody take a guess? Uh, yes. First person, David Jones. Shout out to David Jones. Says a paternity test. All right. Paternity, don't sign anything. They'd be like, no, well, here's the clipboard. You're right here. Just, I ain't signing shit. No, it's just it's just a formality. This is just to say that you're the father. I mean, don't you want to be on the birth certificate? Bitch, get out of my face. I'm here to watch this kid come out of this girl's asshole. I ain't signing shit. I want a paternity test. You show me where it says 99.999, then give me the goddamn pen. I'm just here for moral support. Don't ask me to sign shit. They're always going to rope you in. It's bad enough you got to see all the blood and shit on the floor. Now they want you to sign some stuff. Man, ah, damn. This is what I'm talking about. You got to stay strong. People are going to pressure you to do things. That nurse, oh, you're not a good father if you don't sign. Don't you want to be on the bird if you don't get on my goddamn face? <laughs> I'm just trying to support this lady. <laughs> She's a good woman. Don't be asking me to sign nothing. I want some assurances. All right. That's the very first thing. Uh, and, you know, almost all the time it's going to be yours until it's not. <laughs> okay. So go ahead and get it. You don't need to sign nothing. It has your nose. So listen, if you, don't, if you don't get out of my face. Um, so go ahead and get that paternity test. Once you get the paternity test, and I'm assuming that you guys aren't married, go ahead and talk to a lawyer and get your paternity action going. Once you establish paternity, um, now they're going to give you some visitation. It's not going to be what you want because the child is a newborn and going to be breastfeeding and all that, but it's going to work you in. You get worked in. It's going to work up. You're going to get a lot of little visitation and it's going to work up to big visitation. Why is it important to get that from a judge? Because if you don't, she's going to dick you around. She, oh, well, you can come see the baby, but not right now. Well, when can I come see her? Friday. All right. Then Friday come. Hey, you home? She ain't answering. So you go by the house. Leave me alone. You told me to, to come by on Friday. I'm going to call the cops. Like, bitch. <laughs> she can't do that if you go to court and get your visitation your parenting schedule now just because you go to court don't mean it has to be traumatic you guys can agree to this truth but you know you guys can agree to a visitation schedule you know it's, you can use one attorney you don't even have to use two attorneys but you need something in writing to start especially if this is her first child if this is her third child she don't really care i'll be honest with you let me tell you something about women when they've never had a child before when that first child come out that asshole, a lot of times they get a little, they get a little overprotective. Now, that's a good thing in general, right? You would much prefer, if you were the child, you would much prefer an overprotective mom than some shitty mom that's going to leave you in the car and then you die. Oh, I just left him in. I went to the mall to get my, to get my front lace and my nails and it was 300 degrees outside. He burned up. <laughs> oh, God. You don't want a mom like that. You want a mom that's overprotective. Uh, I had a girlfriend one time and her brother served on a jury. And the jury was the dad left like the one-year-old in the car. And it was down here in Georgia. So it was like, you know, 102 degrees. Damn. Uh, the, the brother, we were talking about the case and the brother told me that the cop was on the stand testifying. And the cop was the one that, you know, to break the window and go in. Kid was dead. Uh, he said that kid like a damn baked potato. A baked potato. Mm. 
Mm. There's not a funny way to turn that around, is it? I was going funny and then it just started. Uh, listen, you want a mom that's overprotective, all right? Generally, if you're the kid, but if you're the dad, it's, it can get funky. So you don't want that overprotection washing off on you. And it will. I've seen it a thousand times from the men that I represent and the women. I had a woman one time, the damn attorney called and cussed me out. And I was like, why are you so mad? My lady, the dude showed up at visitation. My lady said he could have visitation in her living room. Her and her mama were in the living room. And she was like, you can't take the child, but you can come in the living room and watch him. <laughs> Or it's never that way with the third kid. Listen to what I tell you. It's never that way with the third kid. It's always the first kid. They don't care about the third or fourth kid, but the first one, mm, mm, mm. So paternity, go to court to get you a visitation schedule, a parenting plan. Now, what's the bad part? Hmm? The judge is like, oh, you want to visit your son? You'd be like, yo, yeah, oh, that's good. You're a good parent. You say, well, thank you. You know what else a good parent does? What's that, Judge? Pay some child support. <laughs> I mean, what's that? I just wanted to actually see my kid. Pay some child support. That's what a good parent does, sir. So get ready when you go to court. <laughs> you, it's going to be some child support. Right? But you anticipated that. Right? Because you're having a kid. Kids are expensive. So um, that's those are the first. Those are the two things. Paternity tests paternity action to establish your parenting time and set up your child support. You do those three things, you're golden. And then hopefully the last thing is very important too. try to maintain a good relationship with this woman. You say you're on good speaking terms with her now, continue that on to the best you can. She going to say some shit every now and then that's cross. Ignore it. Don't tell her about herself. I'm a man. You just forget. Don't don't try to teach her that you're a fucking man. Forget about that. She know you're a man. That's how she got knocked up. <laughs> All right. Don't 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 start telling her about herself. Have a good relationship with this woman to the extent that it's possible. Are you gonna have to bite your tongue some? Yes. Are you gonna have to put your pride aside some? Yes. Is that in any way gonna affect you know you as a man? No. And it's going to get you closer to your ultimate result, which that you want, which is establishing a great relationship with your child. All right. Excellent, excellent, excellent question. All right. Uh, Blue Ivy. Thank you so much. Blue Ivy says, I'm waiting for my date. Remember, 